Can a 4,000-year-old Chinese philosophy have implications for modern medicine? The Cancer Center at the University of Virginia Health System hopes to answer that question when they study the effects of Qigong, a Chinese form of exercise, on patients with cancer. Our new study that we're about to open up will be examining the impact on uh, women who are having uh, irradiation and who we know will suffer from fatigue. Dr. Tyvin Rich, a radiation oncologist at UVA Health System, is studying this with the help of John Alton, an instructor of Qigong in the Charlottesville, Virginia community. Alton believes that the ancient art will help improve life for people in cancer treatment. The symptoms that they get are regulated by the vagus nerve and, and by an even deeper mechanism inside the brain that Dr. Rich is very interested in called the hypothalamic clock. So we believe that traditional Chinese medicine in general works on this particular part of the brain, which affects all, all symptoms of disease. Qigong is but one form of traditional Chinese medicine. Others include nutrition, acupuncture, massage, and herbs, which have all been studied at UVA Health System by coupling modern scientific methods with ancient medical practices. I'm Abina Foreman reporting.